All right, today we're going to start by taking the air cover or the air cleaner cover off. We're going to get into it and basically clean the carburetor. The problem I'm having is the choke keeps pulling itself in like there's a vacuum on the back side. The choke cable might be bad or it might just need a good cleaning. We're going to get into it and figure that out. So first thing we need, the big Phillips screwdriver. I like the number six Klein screwdriver. I like getting the front one off first so I can keep my hand against it. The second one out, catch a bolt, and this cover and the chrome cover will come off as one. And your air cleaner, just on these, this is a 99 Sports, so they slide off. There's no bolts like some of the newer stuff. To get this air box off, you have to take your breather bolts out and the three little allens that hold it right to the carburetor. Okay, the bolts for the three bolts here is going to be a 5 30 seconds. I don't know if I can get that on there. It's a 5 30 seconds Allen. Mine just happens to be a proto. For the breather bolts, these bigger ones here, is going to be a 5 16 Allen. Uh, camera. There it is. 5 16 and both of those are 3 h drive. Um, they're not real tight. These ones are got a little bit more ass behind them. But these are pretty loose. I mean, they're not real tight. I mean, they're only holding on a plastic piece. So we're going to break those loose. Before we get those pulled out, I like breaking the breather bolts loose. Back the breather bolts out. These are exactly the same length, so it doesn't matter which side they go in. These three, since we got them broke loose, we'll be able to take them out by hand. I like leaving this top right one. So we can kind of in, dangle in there. To get the last one almost to the point of the threads out, go ahead and grab your plastic backer plate. And that thing will slide straight forward. These these bolts are captured in here in brass certs. I happen to have LEDs on this, so you have to take these, pull the little clip up, and slide out. That'll take that LED that's just on the bottom of this out. Just leave those dangle. Set your backer plate off to the side. That gets you down to the carbs. Now these carbs are just held onto the intake manifold by a rubber boot. At this point, you can grab the carb and pull it towards you, and it'll be loose, but we need to go to the other side and take the choke knob off, drop it out of the slot so it's loose and can come through, and we gotta get this clamp loose and get the fuel line off of this. Once we get this pulled forward, we'll be able to rock the throttle back and forth and get the uh, throttle and return cables off of the right side of this carburetor. So first thing I'm going to do, you can pull this and it's a bit snug. But you can work it and it will come off. 
There. She's loose, see? If we get in there and look behind it, it just comes out of that little boot. So right now that carb's sitting there, it's floating. The only thing holding it's on is the throttle or the gas line, throttle cables, and the choke knob from the other side. I'll get you on the other side. Okay, on the Sportster, the choke knobs right here for this 99 Sportster. You don't have to remove this decorative plastic piece. It's just the nut on the back side. You have to loosen that. And when you loosen that, this choke knob will come down. Not sure what the size is off the top of my head. Feels like a hat. Okay, take that back. I was way off. It is an 11 sixteenths. So you gotta break this loose. Back it off just about a turn and a half. And you should be able to get it with your fingers. And it'll slide down. Just like so. Back on the carb side of the bike, we gotta get the throttle cables off. So to get the throttle cables off, instead of messing with the adjusters up on the handlebars, pull this out and you can get it tilted a little bit. You can get to that screw right here. And there's a screw on top, on top of the cap. Take them two screws out you don't have to pull back on your throttle a hair to get it off of the idle screw. And when you take these off, it sets, it registers on a pin right there. And when you take those off, the plate should come out of there. And you should be able to get your throttle cables out. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Start with this one, because it ain't going to move. This boat's also shorter than that top one. The top one's pretty long. We're gonna go ahead and tilt it away so I can get to it without hitting the paint. Get her out of there. See, it's a pretty long bolt, or screw, I guess. You could, it's like a machine screw. Go ahead and turn your throttle, and this will pull forward right off of that lip. From here, you have enough room to pull your cable around and work your barrels out. And when that returns, get the front one off. Your throttle count, your throttle cables are loose. From this point, you have a little vacuum line in the back. Should be able to pull that off with a little bit of manipulation. That vacuum line goes to that barb right there. It's just a little Y connector right there at the tip of my finger. That just fits on that barb there. Now the last piece holding this carb on, because our choke is loose, I can pull that all the way through. Our choke's loose, we can pull that through the middle of the bike without getting stuck on nothing. These wires just go to that LEDs that I had at the bottom of the air cleaner. So these might not be there on yours, they're on mine. Just tuck those up out of the way. The last thing's holding this on is this fuel line. And a vent line right here. This vent line on the bottom of the bowl is held on with a little clip you can get with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver 
And this is like an Oedeker clamp, but it looks like we might not have to cut it. Looks like I might be able to pry that apart. We'll see. We're gonna worry about that vent line first. You might be able to get it with your fingers if you can get it turned. There it is. I'm gonna be able to get mine with my fingers and get it over to Barb. Once you get it past the Barb, oops, I'm sorry guys. Kick the tripod, don't do that. All right, I'm not gonna be able to get it past the Barb with my fingers, I don't think. Oh, there, there it goes. Why don't you get it past the barb? Once again, it's just a barb, a little bit of manipulation, and it's off. At this point, last thing's the fuel line. I'm gonna grab a rag, even though know there's crap on the bike. I'm gonna tuck this up in here. I don't really want gas getting all over everything, so I'll take a good peek at that. Like I said, I think I can pry that out of there and replace it with just a regular hose clamp. Let me get a West Virginia pry bar. We're gonna start with just a long, narrow screwdriver. See if I can get behind it and pry it off them teeth. We're leaking a little gas. I don't know where that's from. We're getting some progress here. There it goes. All right. Once that's loose, should be able to. I'm gonna go ahead and take that clamp all the way off. You might not need to. But I'm having a little bit of Oh, there it goes. There we go. Carburetor off of a Sportster.